Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from Warp Crew Paintball and Warp Sports Chicago Land, and I'm here with another episode of the Weekend Loadout. Um, this is actually kind of cool. I just kind of uh, threw this together. So this guy up here, uh, Auto Cocker, um, I'm hoping to be selling pretty soon. I had a guy that was like, "Hey, I want to buy it," but then stuff happened in his life that he's like, I "Can't buy it right now," but hopefully next payday. And I was like, "Let me know, boss. It's going to be for sale as long as it's for sale." Um, if, you know, you're the first one to be like, hey, I want to buy it, so, you know, but, um, the barrel that I originally had on that one, uh, I think there's a CP685 on it right now, but the barrel that I had on that one was one from a Defender that I had forever ago, um, and I really liked the size of that barrel, and I was like, you know what, I like this barrel, unfortunately it's only freak insert ready, so I sent it out to Stanchi, he bored it out for me to get um, the XL insert in there, uh, I think I did a video on that, I'm not 100% sure, but the size of that barrel is about the same size as the barrel that comes with the, um, Planet Eclipse EMEC stock, and I, while I like the look of it, it doesn't, I mean, the barrel that comes with it stock is just that, it's a stock barrel, so, uh, I'm like, you know what, that barrel is just gonna sit there, I don't know what I'm gonna put it on, and then I was like, you know what, it looks really good on my EMAC. So that's what I did. So this is a Freak XL ported or XL um, milled barrel. Uh, you can see the porting goes all the way back here. The insert is all the way up here. Like the insert is up here. So this barrel is still very loud, but it's going to be extremely accurate with how long that control bore is to the end of the barrel. So you're basically control bore, a little bit of porting, that's it. So I really liked it. Athena, don't sniff my gear bag. Um, but yeah, this is the weekend loadout. I have my Pops ASA on there with my First Strike 77 and my Immortal Air uh, reg. Uh, love the Immortal Air regs. Hopefully, I'll be doing a video about Immortal Air pretty soon. Uh, and my Spire 3. But I really like the barrel on here. Um, I haven't shot it yet. I know it's going to be loud. Granted, the EMAC is pretty quiet by itself. But this barrel might make it a little bit louder just because of the porting and then lack thereof porting. Whereas the regular EMAC barrel, the stock one, is actually pretty quiet. It's 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 okay for what it is. Um, but yeah, that is this weekend's loadout. Um, I honestly, I do like the EMAC platform. I think it is very good for people getting in to mechanical play. Uh, it's either between this or the enemy. Um, I'm a huge advocate for the enemy just because it is a little bit cheaper and you still get all those great kind of benefits of a spool valve mechanical marker. Um, but I really do like the feel of this. Not so much with my 77 on there, it's just a little bit too long for me. Uh, maybe if I had my shortened reg, like it would it would be perfect, but uh, I'll try it with a 68 on there too and see, see how it feels. But uh, yeah. That is this weekend's loadout. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. Uh, go check out the CVO gameplay. That is the world's first first-person CVO gameplay. So check that video out. Let me know what you think. Uh, please leave a comment down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.